All right, we're up. We're live. It's all happening. I'll broadcast out to the one viewer. It'll probably jump on and then off again straight away. <laughs> Although I did a live stream last night, uh, not last night, a couple of nights ago on Assetto Corsa. And um, I was on for about three hours just trying to beat this particular time goal that I'd set. And uh, ended up with close to 100 viewers, but most jumping off after only a minute or two. But one fella from Indonesia stayed on for, well, I mean, he missed out in the first hour, but he was on for a good couple of hours. Yeah, cool. Watching, yeah, chatting away, which was good. So we're starting in Reading, are we? Well, that's where I did my last drop-off, so that's where I've started. There's a big service centre there as well, so you yep. can get repaired and fueled up and we'll figure out a load going north somewhere up to maybe Bellingham or wherever, and um, then hopefully up that way you might find a load over to Alaska. Yeah, righto. All right, well, let's jump over to Reading. Where's Reading again? I can't remember where it is. It's up near um, Oregon. It's, it's sort of just south of Bedford. So if you go from LA, go north, and it's sort of, um, yeah, up near Medford Way. Server so running? No, not yet. Whereabouts are you going to start? Uh, in Reading. Whereabouts in Reading? So it's Cal well, so I'm over at the big service centre at this point in time. I haven't picked up any load or anything like that. I was just going to wait. And uh, are we Hello. waiting for Johnny? Oh, we can do a we can do a short uh, run till he gets there. I've messaged Taz okay. as well, but he hasn't responded. All right, no, I'll fire it up then. Play brakes heavy on this thing. Might have to give it a bit of a tweak. She's a bit, bit heavy. Yeah. Uh, Psycho's watching the stream. <laughs> I like Anzac biscuits. <laughs> Don't we all? <laughs> Don't watch. Get in amongst it. <laughs> Let's have a look at the job market. Best of it learn which one's the break on this thing. The middle pedal. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm not used to having a middle pedal, mate. <laughs> oh, I've gone the wrong the way. The bloody clutch and go, why the hell am I stopping? Oh, look at that green light on Anzac biscuits. Great. There we go. We got one up to Astoria. Astoria. 
Let's see if my truck needs any work under it. Oh yeah, mine will after the crash I just had. <laughs> Are we uh, just using company trailers? Or what sort, um, of, what sort of trailer no, I'm are just, they running? I'm just running the triple that I've always used. So The flatbed, uh, the flat tops, aluminium? Yeah, the taut, taut liner ones, I think. I'm just running the one up to the here. But I'll switch out when I get to, um, when we get to Astoria, I'll put a flatbed on. I'll take a single flatbed up to Alaska from there, I think. Yeah, Roger. Um, Got a run going from Reading to Astoria, from Walbert to Sell Goods. All right, I'm going to nick over to Colorado Springs to grab my trailer. Wow, 83 mile trip to get to the load. Dang. Might fly over there, I think. Yeah, we have the technology. Why not? Why not? All right, should have my trailers, which I do. Beautiful. Where am I and where are you? I am down there, you're up there, right? Out. Okay, I've picked up a load. It's um, like I said, just using the taut liner. I've got a triple trailer on, but I think you can use a double. Whatever. Yeah. Just coming up now, just around the corner. I'm gonna bump my nose out here, and I'm gonna find somewhere to park. Oh, you got those trailers. Right out. Yep. I might go company then. Let's flick them. I can never remember what trailer's what in this. I do you use Dev Console? Yep. 
Oh, okay. Well, you should be able to just reconnect your trailer through the dev console. Oh, right. I have never done that. Yeah, right. so all you need to do is, so, like, which trailers am I running here? Hang on. I'll grab company from here because I can pick um, a local freighter. Okay, so the, the trailers I'm using are called Old Le Le old Lead B Triples Cam in brackets. That's the ones I've got here. So how do you actually connect them when you're not at your, your base? Okay, so all you need to do is wherever your truck is, make sure you've got nothing on the back. So yep. dismiss your other trailer. And then once you, you pick the trailer you want to use, you just click on it and go use. And then when you get onto your truck, you get into the uh, driver's seat, hit um, zero, and then you go control F9, and it will spawn the trailer on the back of your truck. There we go. Give me triples, come on. There's doubles. Here we go. Now we're into the triples. The only thing with that one is you've got to make sure you've got to, um, like nothing behind you because <laughs> uh, if yeah. you're close to something, you try and spawn your trailers on, literally bang, they go flying into the air. All sorts of chaos. So, I missed the start of that. I, I knew about when you press zero and then you control F9 to respawn and your trailers appear, but do you have to be in the town where your trailers are or will they just no. appear wherever you are? Yeah, no, you don't need to be where they are. So, even if it's in, like, Denver, the not matter, man. It'll just, wherever you have your truck, like I said, as long as you go, you select the trailer and go use... Then you yep. jump back into the truck, uh, just go zero, control F9, and it should spawn on the back of you. Yeah, gotcha. Okay, I'm trying to find out where to pick the load up from. Yeah, it's a fair way it's out up, of Reading. Up north. Yeah, it's, it's all way up north in Reading. I am in Reading. Yeah, but you see, see what level on the map, you'll see where we are. Both like you and I were up north at that wall bird up there. Ah, oh, there we go. Matchy, matchy. Sweet. Nice. All right. Oh, how about I grab the load so I know where I'm going? <laughs> Oh, it's a good thing we get paid by the hour. <laughs> Oh, that didn't work. I just uh, dropped my truck from too high. Oh, yeah, you got to be damn close to the ground. <laughs> oh, fuck's sake, I still miss where we got to do.
Running a double camera setup tonight for this. Oh yeah, so what? Just some something from behind you and in the front type thing. Yeah, got one in the front and then one strapped to my chest so that uh, you can see the wheel and and sim dash on my tablet and that. Okay. Something different. I'm just mucking around. How'd you go, Rock? Did you manage to get the load? Yep, all right, cool. Yep, we're all, all right. there. I'll start rolling then. Yeah, mate, good to go. Just have to, uh, still trying to remember which key I've been binded to what. I keep on uh, dropping her out of... Uh, taking it out of uh, gear and putting it into neutral, because that used to be my indicator. I've got... Um i got to grab fuel too, I've just realised. Ever since I turned that realistic fuel consumption on, <laughs> I keep forgetting how quick it goes down. Yeah, okay. Uh, well, we should be able to find something up on the highway up here. Just do a radio check. Yeah, mate, have you loud clear. Johnny in trouble with your sledge racking up the race miles when we've been doing convoys yeah I'm sure you have been <laughs> <laughs> oh, but he hasn't he's kept it under I just about make it to the destination with the fuel I've got on board. Yeah, no worries. Um, well, if you get low, just let us know. Well, I'm pretty sure I've seen a servo somewhere along this road. It's only 500 miles anyway. Yeah. Hey, 
Rock, did I hear you talking about your car's got auto sensing wipers, rain wipe, rain sensing wipers? Oh, that was sledge. Oh, sledge. Set 70 miles an hour. Um, yeah, that's uh, something that happen is happening with the new uh, update, 144. It's available at beta oh, now. In the, game. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, in the game. Yeah, Yeah, in the game, yeah. But I do have them in real life. They need radar cruise control more than they need rain sensing wipers. <laughs> I believe there was some adaptive sort of cruise control with 144 when it came out, but I've never played with it. Um, there's smart cruise control, and I was asking Johnny about it the other night and uh, or the other week, and apparently it's just. Um, how much tolerance the cruise control has before it starts slowing you down so like it might creep a couple of kilometers over what you've got it set before it starts putting the brakes on or it, when you're going up a hill or slowing down it'll slow down a few kilometers past what you've got it set before it starts accelerating again i don't know if that's what they were talking about but Yeah, I'm not sure. I, I definitely know you had that feature before. You could uh, induce a tolerance for your cruise control, so either you know it can drift a little bit if you're going downhill, but if you set it to zero tolerance, it literally will lock you at that speed the whole way down and use the brake for it. Yeah, gotcha. synced up with the game properly sometimes if I uh, I'm not sure what causes it but sometimes I'll start like American trucks him and it'll feel like I'm driving a truck with no power steering because it's that heavy and you've got to exit the game and go back in there's Logitech have a, um, a gaming app yeah, yeah, I've got that product. yeah and you can set up profiles for different games yep yeah I might have to do that I said it's it's quite heavy yeah that's um yeah I, I had that same problem with the Thrustmaster um it would like you literally you try and turn it and it's literally you would just sort of stop it and it was yeah. some setting inside there I had to just tweak and it then freed it up yeah I think that's what it is I said it's I feel like I'm fighting it the whole way yeah. I always, um, every time I start playing a new game, I Google best G29 settings for such and such. Oh, and then, okay. And then change all the... Uh, the biasing and all the rest of it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, I'm a fair way back, guys. Yeah, it's okay. Keep going. Like I said, it's just a... Uh, getting used to our rear-ending cars so I keep forgetting I've got an, an extra pedal now. Did you get the shifter as well? I haven't got the shifter, I'm still waiting for that to come. Yeah. yeah. Got a uh, generic seven-speed shifter and a, and a um, the truck sh shifter on top as well, which I bought. Oh, you're cool. Be a whole new world for you when you get that. <laughs> oh, yeah. I said, I'm, I'm still just getting used to what keys I've bonded to the G29 because it's so many extra keys in th that I didn't have before and I keep on trying to put the indicator on and I'm dropping it out of gear because I've changed what the pedals do and stuff like that. Watch this Prius come back in front of me. Uh, maybe not. Yeah, I just said 65, so rock and catch up. Yeah, Roger.
know there's a few tweaks you can do on the uh, brake pedal on the G29, which I might have to implement. It's just really stiff. Yours is really stiff. Yeah. Just just pressing it, even not in game, just without it, the computer being turned on. It's it's quite a stiff pedal. Yeah. Yeah. There's no force feedback in the pedal, so game on game off or computer on computer off, they, they all feel the same. But um, most people with the G29 pedals put change their springs out for rubbers so that they're harder to push in so oh, that they're more realistic yeah this this thing is like real real heavy but it'll be just something that's something you used to yeah you can again you can go into that um logitech gaming and also in ats as well and change the sensitivity yeah i've yeah. seen a lot of guys they only set it to the brake to like 70%. 70% is equivalent of full brake. But when they go into the game, it they don't have to push as hard down on the pedal for it to break. You may just want to check your manual, see if there is an adjustment for the spring. See if there is something underneath the pedal set that you can adjust to make it a little bit easier or not as there, you know, stiff on it. There is, there is a spring and a rubber inside. So a lot of guys say you can either change, like remove the rubber, or you just put a softer spring in. But I'll get there. So it's just getting used to having a, like the, the frame is a lot better. The, the pedals don't move and all the rest of it. What do we got left? My fuel's gone down a lot quicker than I anticipated. I'm not gonna make it. And we just went past the fuel stop. So I reckon the next one, Sure, there'll be another one. Problem. Yeah, no problem. How 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 much distance to go you got on it? Well, it says four thirty-seven, but it's okay. going down. That's on the truck yet. It's going down a lot quicker than that because I've got realistic fuel on. So it it told me I had nearly nine hundred kilometres, and we had eight hundred and something to do in the uh, on the trip, but now my fuel's dropped a lot lower than what we've got left, so. Okay. The truck, yeah, obviously doesn't match up with the realistic fuel consumption. What you can do here, you might be able to turn off at Medford. I think there's a service centre in Medford itself. Oh, there's one a bit further up the road. We should be right. I won't need to hang a left here. I'll keep going. Yeah, I'll turn off. Unless that's the one you... I oh, know, Medford, yeah. No, there's one coming up as well on this road, so... Oh, yeah, I see it. It's, on our, it's actually on our left-hand side, so we need to go right to yeah. get in there, I think. So I'll, I'll go li right lane now and see if we can get in there. Roggy. Yeah, I, I've got rain sensing wipers on the CX-9 that I've got Mazda CX-9. And early last year I got a cracked windshield so I had to get the windshield replaced and the uh, place that replaced it didn't use a genuine Mazda windshield. Windscreen. No, you don't have the right sensors anymore. And, um, well, I didn't have for nearly 12 months, yeah, because they replaced it twice. And then after the second time and the, the rain sensing, the rain sensor's not working. So what it was is the brackets weren't flush up against the, uh, the sensors weren't getting pressed flush up against the windscreen and the brackets that oh, okay. come pre-fitted that the sensors fit into had come away from the windscreen. We need right lane, don't we? Here. Ooh. Nearly got a van. And, um, yeah, I <coughs> got it home the first time they replaced it and uh, put the garden hose on the windscreen and the wipers didn't work. 
and then the next uh, so I took it back down to them and they tested it oh that's strange and that's when they looked and saw that the uh, brackets had come away from the glass and they tried to glue them back on but the glue wouldn't hold so they said we'll have to order you another one and uh, they ordered another one a couple months later I went back in to get that one put in and uh, it was the, yeah like two days later it started raining while I was driving around and, and the wipers weren't doing anything so I went back because they showed me when I picked it up they got a bottle of water and put it on the windscreen and uh, it worked and then two days later when it actually started raining they wouldn't work so I took it back and and um, the other thing with it too the bloody uh, heads up display like when they replaced it the first time the heads up display looked like I needed glasses it was that out of focus and a little bit off tilt and I showed them and they said oh it looks fine to us and I'm like nah if you saw it how sharp and clear it was before and look at it now there's a big difference and uh, anyway they said that's Mazda's problem not theirs cut to getting the second windscreen put in it and the uh, heads up display looking the same I should have gone through there I'm going to drop me trailers and go through um, All right, I'm just up up ahead, I just went past and realised you got off. Nah, that's alright, yeah, we'll meet you up on the highway man when he's fueled up. Yeah, yeah, I'll pull off and I just want to uh, change my settings for my keybinds. Yeah, all good, mate. Yeah, it wasn't until I got the car serviced and told Mazda about it that Mazda took the car around there and, and that's when they realised that it wasn't a genuine screen, windscreen and it took them about another seven months to get one in. Yeah. Yeah, but finally, uh, only last month, they uh, finally got one in and put it in. So. Well, that's interesting. Didn't think that would really make a difference, but there you go. Yeah, and... I thought the heads up display, I was worried that I had damaged it when I um, had taken the car full wheel driving with some mates and um, thought maybe I'd shaken the, the projector loose or something. Because both Ma uh, Mazda and the windscreen place said, no, nah, that shouldn't make a difference. Rah, rah. And when they put the genuine windscreen back in, it was night and day, like it was perfect again. So it just must be the angle of the glass. It's slightly different where the heads up display is. Yeah, okay. Alright, we're heading out now, Rob. But yeah, getting back to the, the rain sensing wipers, it took me a couple of weeks to um, discover that you can go into the settings, vehicle settings on the car and turn them off because the first click on the uh, windscreen wipers is the auto, or well, normally your intermittent wipers, but with the rain sensors it's your rain sensors and without them working, your intermittent wipers don't work at all. So you either have nothing or you go to your first click, which is usually a lot quicker than what you need it for when it's only lightly spitting or raining. And it took me a few weeks to realise that you could go into vehicle settings and turn off the rain sensors so they just operated like a normal intermittent wiper on the first click. Are you good to go, Brock? Yeah, mate. I'm just waiting up on the road here. We're right behind you. Yeah, okay, coming past. Oh, Roger that. <laughs> What's that? General Lee. 
Oh, you're not allowed to do that one anymore, are you? People don't like good old boys. That one comes through a bit louder because that's on my soundboard rather than in game. Yeah, yeah she's uh, quite loud, that one. <laughs> Half expecting the general E to go flying past me. <laughs> Jumping over the highway. Back to sixty five. Get up to 65 there. Not like a mermaid are out. Yeah. strength of the steering Keep it the same, mate. I'm packing up with Popeye arms. <laughs> Popeye's arm and one one big leg. It makes me laugh the horn that I've got on my truck, mate. It sounds like that one out of um, was it Family Feud when they hear that noise where they didn't get the right answer. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, I know that, yeah. I've got that sound too. Oh, not that particular one, but... That's the one. I'll wait for you to crash and then I'll do this one. That's never gonna happen, mate. <laughs> Haven't caught up to you yet, mate. We're stuck behind a couple of trucks now. That horn sounds like it's in my bloody cab. Yeah, it's yeah right. one of those ones that haven't got the sound travel distance thing sorted out properly. Yeah, Mr. Lowe's here has been a pain in the ass. Come on, dude, put your gas pedal down. Might be able to sneak out and get in the other lane. truck pulled up real quick when you pulled over. I'm sure he did. <laughs> and he just turned off too. Oh, I don't, oh, 
that's right. Audi's moving out the way too. One of you guys pulling off, just sort of chip pull off. Coming over. Yep, you're all clear. Oh, yeah, Rock's not far behind. Ah. having to get used to the new wheel and stuff. Foot down now. Watch those race miles. Oh, miles away from it. I love going through this little area here. It's really cool with the trees. Yeah, yeah. Very seasonal. Yeah, I've got a habit of just keep going right there. It's like, oh no, that's probably going somewhere different today. <laughs> yeah, 
You must drive these roads a lot if you can get that complacent while you're driving. Yeah, well normally I'm going far north, so I always know to stick right there to go over the bridge, but um, yeah, every now and then you've got to go, oh no, we're going to Astoria, we're going to stay left. Ah, this is a new road for me, haven't been there in this one. Keeping left. Pretty cool bridge, I never noticed that one before. Yeah, yeah, all sorts going on. enough. Might have to jump out after this quick one just to go in. I need to just ramp up my performance a bit on the view car. Give a bit of stuttering here. Yeah, I am too. I'm uh, down to 30 FPS. Been down as low as 24 as well in some going through some of the towns. It might be these trailers that we're using. So yeah, it'd be interesting to see if it frees up because I'm just going to dump these when we get here and drop off and yeah. grab a single single flatbed and just see if we can find a load up to Alaska. And hopefully that might fix a lot of the a little bit of a lagginess that's happening at the moment. setting anything at the moment. I'm just sort of manipulating I got traffic in front of me. And I'm just sticking to his bumper. Hold both lanes are blocked up here so I'll be slowing down in a minute. They'd fix the bloody brake lights up. They're still not showing up very well. Not at all. I can't tell whether you're braking or not. Apart from the fact that your truck is rapidly approaching mine. <laughs> oh yeah, I can. I'm outside the truck now, following behind, and I can see him a little Just, bit. Just yeah, not, yeah. Ooh. I got. I can see sledges ahead of me. When he's on the curve, I can actually see the ones on his truck, but his trailer, no. Nah. Yeah, I think it's this trailer that does it, because I'm pretty sure the um, the flatbeds, it doesn't have that problem. Could it be the particular type of lights that you've got on it? Yeah, it might be. Might have to maybe try a different type of light on it. Well, see what happens. I'm running different lights to uh, Sledge, and I can't see his trailer. Okay. So I don't think it is the lights. I've got the round LEDs, he's got the rectangle. You should start seeing them activating soon because I'm starting to get into a bit of like night time.
Looks like that famous bridge in Astoria. Is it a train bridge lowers down, does it? Goes up and down? Or is that No, it's just, just a, it's just a massive bridge, man, yeah. You see that bridge in, um, I don't know if you've ever seen that movie, Kindergarten Cop, that was filmed in Astoria and I think also maybe Goonies was yeah, somewhere right. up this way. Yeah, I love Kindergarten Cop, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Wasn't Goonies um, Santa Monica? Nah, it was up this way somewhere. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was um, somewhere up in Oregon, I'm not sure. I thought it was Astoria where it was filmed, but I could be wrong. So I remember in Goonies you got the, um, oh, no, I'm thinking Lost Boys. Is that car doing? I think he just rammed in the front of me. <laughs> Backed up. This will teach you for tailgating. He just hit the truck in front too, I think. Well, I think that FedEx yeah. rolled back and he just all of a sudden went, Oh, look out. He's just stopped in the middle of the road, you goot. <laughs> that got him going. Yeah, I'm sitting out of the... I've got the camera view above the truck and out off to the side driving through here and saw saw the whole thing man oh we got a viewpoint <laughs> I'm going to have to call into this viewpoint I think after we drop below Straight lights just come on. What is this driver doing? <laughs> Screw you, man. Like, I'm not even like I can see your tail lights on yours, uh, Lucky, but I'm not seeing any of the brake lights coming on at all. Did we... Oh, no, Same lights are there. Turning here. Where are you going? Taking a long way around, mate. Yeah, bigger turning circle. <laughs> Needed the wider turning circle. On getting in here. So your indicator's working. So you've got no brake lights whatsoever on that truck. Yeah, oh wow. A little brighter but not much. Not much, Jesus. What did they shut the gate for? I'm right here. Gotcha. As well, there's not a fucking train coming. <laughs> yeah, that'd be a bit interesting, wouldn't it? I think if you're over the trailway track, if it's not one of those where it's got boom bags to drop, they, the train will stop for you. Shoot over to that uh, viewpoint. Yeah, go for it. You try and sort out a load for us. Yeah, I gotta shut down quickly just to do some tweaks to my video card. 
I'm gonna oh. grab that trailer I need. I'm just gonna get a single flat bed. That's all I'm gonna run. Oh, that's right. Still got the trailer on. <laughs> I forgot that it was my own trailer and just drove straight out as if I was Bobtail. Yeah, we'll dismiss that. That's snagged on the gate on the way out. What I'll do is I can change the time as well. Just watch your eyes. Gentlemen. Hello, sir. Hey, mate. hey daylight. Oh, she's bright. Yeah, I told you, watch your eyes. <laughs> How are Happy you, fellas? Johnny? Yeah, good, man. Yeah, good. Hey. How's your house hunting going? <laughs> Mate, I just sorted it all today. I went up there for two days. I got the trifecta. Cool. I got... Um, place to live? Job? Place to live. I got a second job driving trucks. I um, got my desk and all that shit for work, like sorted all that work stuff. So I did all that. I missed the quaddy though, I didn't bag a root. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't get the quinella. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So now nah, I'm feeling good now. It's been a pretty stressful couple of days. To be honest, it's all, it's all happening quick. And then in the in the all that I bloody sold my car and bought another one and it's all bloody happening but yeah I found a place I'm signed I've you know done all that bullshit paid the bond um yeah I move in there I'll get the keys go and sign the lease next Thursday it's all happening for you good stuff yeah yeah I just drove home then just got back at 20 minutes ago a quick shower and a beer. How long does it take you to drive up there? About five hours. Yeah, wow. Yeah, pretty much five hours. Just let me know when you get your viewpoint. I'm going to shut the session down. Yeah, well, I'm all finished with rocks. Just I'm looking just now. Cool. Sure. I'll jump out of the server. Nice breach. What he's doing? You pulling the pin? No, mate. Well, uh, I'm just going to do a couple of little tweaks to my video card because I've just been noticing a little bit of stuttering going on. Um, so I'm just going to ramp it up a bit. And we're up in Astoria, Oregon at the moment, and we're going to try and see if we can find a run with a flatbed trailer up to uh, Alaska somewhere. Yeah, cool. Sounds fucking mint. I'll get in there. <laughs> <laughs> fucking mint. <laughs> fucking mint. You good, Rock? Yeah, mate, go for it. i got to tweak these steering wheels, see if I can get it a little bit more uh, not so hurting on the shoulders. <laughs> it's got to be the game. The wheel hasn't registered in the game or something. Oh, it's registered because it knows it's got a G29, but it's just really tight. Yeah, but it shouldn't be. That's what I'm saying. Like, it should feel like you've got power steering. There'll be a little bit of resistance, but not much. It, if I um, start a set of Corsa, for example, before I plug my, if I forget to plug the wheel in, because I unplug it when I'm not using it from the uh, power. Um, and then I plug the power in. I can I can still drive with it, and the game recognises it. But it feels like I've got no power steering. It's just heavy as. Well, yeah. I said I definitely had stopped the game and started the game after the steering wheel was plugged in. Yeah, gotcha. So on my T three hundred for the Thrustmaster, I think the setting that was under mine was gain settings, and it was the master gain setting, and I dropped that from one hundred percent to about seventy five percent, and it's it was quite good. So maybe look for a setting that's called something like that. Is that in the ATS or actually in the thrust? No, in in your actual wheel itself. So your whatever your Logitech wheel is. I've got a sensitivity, and I got wheel operation range and centering spring strength. Whereabouts are you looking? It could in be Logitech game. gaming software. Yeah. Yep. I'll tell you what I've got mine at. Um, yeah, that centering spring one. Strength. 
So my profile for ATS, actually I had still had it on a set of course. You can actually, before you do anything, if you go up to um, profiles, have you got, so you've got a- I've got an ATS. You've got it on ATS, American yep. Truck Sim, yep. And then you click on the steering wheel and it's got yep. wheel sensitivity. I've got mine at 50%, yep. operating range 900 and centering spring strength, mine's only 10%. So is mine. All right, so it'll be in-game then. So if you head into the game, I can um, tell you what mine are quickly, if you like. Yep. Let me know when you're in control. Yeah, yep. And yep, I am. at the top, it's got keyboard and Logitech G29. Yep. Okay. Um, a steering sensitivity. Mine is the left-hand edge of the slider is lined up with the right-hand edge of the D for disabled, the last D. Okay. I'll and, just increase that a little bit more. And steering non-linearity is right all the way to the left as far as it goes, all the way yep. at the bottom. Force feedback's tick. Yep, overall gain is in the middle. Yep. C centering at high speed, I've got a, all the way to the right-hand side. Yep. And centering at low speed in the middle. Yep. Internal friction is in the middle. Uh Engine resonance. So this was the one that makes your wheel shake as you're driving. I've got yep. like one slide of width from the left-hand edge. And then Roger. terrain surface I've got set to the right-hand edge of the slider just above it. So the last, yep. the engine Same resonance. Here. Yep. Um, bumps is all the way on the right. Collisions all the way on the right. Gearbox grind is about a quarter of the way along. And understeer slip is in the middle. Yep. Um, steering axis dead zone is all the way to the left. Yep. Steering axis mode is centered. Um, and then it goes into your accelerators and, and brakes and stuff. But yeah, that's, yep. that's how mine's set up. Okay. Yours sounded like much the same. Or did you, were there a couple there that you did actually change? I moved maybe one of them. I moved the engine res resonance across. And yeah, that's steering sensitivity. I increased that a little bit more, but not much. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's odd that it's um, so stiff still then. We got 1.45 beta. Yeah. Open. Uh, are they are they ownable fuel tanks? What are they calling them? Systems? Yeah. Yeah, sort of some sort of thing. Yeah, but they're definitely that's like a uh, tanker now. Cool. Yeah, I'll probably only have. Um, I don't know. Maybe in oh, yeah. sometime next week we'll start packing up. Then I'll be off offline for a week or so. But I might be getting faster in and out. They've got MBN where I'm going, so that's happy days. Yeah, nice. Oh, cool. Hey, because you're on mobile, aren't you, at the moment? Hotspot. Yeah. Mobile broadband. Yeah, mobile broadband. That Vecchi Nighthawk, whatever it is. Bin that. Do do do. Trailers. So, uh, 
single flat deck, you reckon? Yeah. Which trailer, sorry? Uh, just a single flat flat bed. Like the flat flat or the drop deck flat? Uh, whichever one we used the other day. I'm not sure what it is. Has it got a step on it or is it just flat the whole way? Uh, hang on, I haven't connected it yet to see how far. It just says flat deck, so I don't think it's... Uh... That's what yeah, it's flat, flat deck. Yeah, it's not drop deck, flat deck. Brake lights don't work on this one either. I don't know. And, and the road train signs quite faded. The signs on the back of the trailer are quite faded. Very strange. Johnny's got himself a Hilux. Yeah, man. It's fucking sick. Yeah, yeah, it looks pretty cool. Mm, it's good for camping. It's all set up. But yeah, sadly, no more Land Cruiser. But I've got a lot more money in the bank now. I was about to say, you got money for a house now, you were saying? So. That's true. I not all bad. Nah, it's good. It's better. Like, I'm at that point where it's, I shouldn't be spending money on houses and cars. And now I've got a big, fat, healthy deposit. I've added, like, another what, 55 grand or something. Yeah, nice. nice. I was like, fuck. I was even, I was a bit surprised how much I got. Is it a troop carrier? Nah, it's a 200 series. Oh, uh, righto. You used to have a troopy though, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah. That's where I got that from. Back a second. Yeah. My mate's kind of been at me to buy it for a few months. I kept telling him no, no, and then <laughs> I don't know. This move thing came up, and I thought about it more, and and I was like, oh, I could I could handle a Hilux. That'd be fine. And um, my truck driving boss I was rang him you know just to talk to him tell him what I'm doing and that and he was telling me the story about how he kind of started the, the fuel servo business yeah and he's like um you know, yeah me and his brother they had like they each had this car you know they had a car each and um sold it for like three grand and his brother sold his car for like three and a half and then that was the money they used to like start their you know start the servo to buy fuel yeah right and then he's like now i've got 10 cars <laughs> he's like you should he's like you're right what you've been doing you should definitely have a house already ben So it's kind of like made me think about it in a different light, you know? Yeah, fair enough. Oh, it's fuck it. I wasn't too emotionally attached to the car anyway, so. Not like my old troopy.
Yeah, it's interesting. My sister had a place up in uh, in Tamworth, and she didn't do too well with getting a price of it. But that was many years ago. It's probably picked up now. Yeah, it's not like um, it's not the place to buy if you want to build wealth, you know. Yeah, it's kind of one of those things that you know you buy there to live there, really. Yeah, yeah. So I'm just gonna I'm just renting there for for a while, or at least six months. But I'm just gonna have a think about that. I'll have a look around, see if anything worth living in pops up, or but I'm thinking about just buying. You know, whatever. I got a buddy who like does that. Well, I don't know what you call it, like financial planning. Planning. They they do like the property. You know, that's what they do. They invest in property that goes up. You know, they help people do all that. Yeah, cool. He's he was. I was talking to him, and he's like, "Well, you know, ten worth twelve percent, blah blah blah." He's like, "You can, <laughs> but you know." What you can also do, I'm like, all right, stop. I'll call you in a month. I've got too much going on right now. Can't think about it now. Yeah, like, let me just fucking get settled for a minute. All right, so where are you? Where are you? We are in... It starts with a U, E, E, um... So we're over, over in Astoria, but I'm actually thinking I'm going to Seattle because I found a job going to Fairbanks. Fairbanks, fair play. Are you got a convoy up? Uh, not yet. I'm just quickly doing all this stuff outside it, and then once we're good to go, I'll fire it up. Wait for sleep. Rod G. Back. I started a new profile. For this convoy. Yeah. Freshy, yeah. or did you copy from another one? I did a freshy, but I did a bit of fucking head Wheeling starties. and dealing, yeah. <laughs> did a bit of... But I didn't... I only um, did a little bit of experience, so I can... So I can do the long runs. And I imported a couple of trucks from other profile. Imported and a of trailers. Yeah, okay. Yeah, with the trucky. And I didn't have to buy them. So I got like five trucks that I didn't have to buy. I bought one truck. I borrowed 500,000 bucks and I've nearly made enough to pay it back. But I've, you know, I got a bit of a head start, but nothing to you. So basically, you were a, a freight owner. <clears throat> Company went bust. You did some dodgies, transferred a few trucks into the missus's names. Got yourself yeah, a new, change your change your business name. Got yourself a new ABN. Yeah, I painted the trucks a different <laughs> colour. <Yeah. laughs> no, fucking golden. <laughs> That's what I did. Actually, that's a better yeah. way of explaining it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's go. We're live on uh, YouTube too, by the way. We've had a grand total of five views that have only been for like a minute or two each. Psycho did comment on there, though. I go. My brakes work on this trailer. Yeah, now that it's dark, you can see him. Oh, during the day. Yeah. I I just changed trailers or I configured this one because this was... I had a double... So I've just dropped one of the trailers off, and I haven't ta I haven't changed the tail lights, and they um, you can notice them because there's like two thin rows of LEDs when they're when you're not pressing the brake, and then four rows light up when you hit the brake. So you do sort of notice them. Oh yeah, I think I've just got the standard ones. That's mm. why they might work. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's all I've got. I haven't changed them yet. Did you look up those fucking trucks of that company I got a job with? Yeah, red and white. Yeah, fucking not bad.
Have, did you? You obviously looked at some while you were there, because I'm sure they just picked the uh, couple that they've done up for the photos. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I'll be straight into those. Yeah. <laughs> no, they, I, they did see a lot of them though, but they are a lot of the, that style of truck, that 90 truck. Yeah, right. And they got a whole bunch of K200s. They're all Kenworths. Every single truck, they got about 80 trucks. Something like that, according to the website. He was telling me all about the operations and that, so he's like, yeah, mate, let us know when you're settled and we'll, we'll get you started. That looks sweet. All right, uh, convoy's up. I'm just going to go make a coffee. Um, so, yeah, join when you're ready. And uh, I picked up a load. Should be just some timber, and I'm carrying it on a flat deck. Um, yeah, and we're going to Fairbanks. Up in and I'm um, starting in Seattle, Walbert. Roger. Oh, yeah, there's kind of a weird spot. It's sort of to the south um, eastern corner of Seattle. It's across the highway. It's out in the middle of the boonies. You'll see my truck there anyway. I'll be back in a minute. I've got a mod mismatch. Oh, wrong order. No worries. I got the green light straight away. Green that never, lights. That never happens. Psycho's still here. He's still here. Those views might be me refreshing the page. <laughs> I thought YouTube was meant to tell me if somebody was continually watching. Alright. Failed to find a trailer compatible with Source Company. Um, have you got a drop deck on? A flat deck? Flat you, deck, yep. Yeah, so you change it to own truck and trailer. There's a drop down menu. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Oh, boy. Quick travel me there. Yeah, it should do. Just wait for this train to go past. Mine till Friday week, Johnny. Yeah, island. right. Where's it coming from? It's not in Tassie. No, bought it from Melbourne, and um, the missus is in Melbourne at the moment, so I'm going to fly over on Monday, and um, we're going to meet at the airport and basically get on a plane straight to Brisbane. We're going to spend a few days up there with mum and dad, and um, yeah, come back on Thursday, and then on Friday I'll go pick it up. And ferry it over? Yeah, go back on the ferry. Yeah, nice. Well, yeah, mine's um, in my driveway, yeah. <laughs> you bastard. <laughs> you know what, actually, because the gift they kept giving. You know what happened, actually? You didn't find a heap I... of coins in the ashtray? Nah, nah, I kept giving it in a bad way. Like I did, I went I went there with a mechanic and got it all like, you know, they paid him 200 bucks, whatever, 250, and we did a good inspection of it before I bought it. Yep. It all checked out. And it's been engineered. It's had the level suspension upgrade, like a two inch lift with 
um, heavier shocks and that so you can get extra weight. And you can't register it. Where did you buy it from? Uh, you... it's, it's, come, it's come with Rego. Got yeah. 11 months Rego on it. Yeah. Alright, but it's been engineered for extra weight, which is not uncommon. Alright, but what the what is uncommon is that when I transferred the Rego papers to my name and I started looking a bit harder at the engineering certificate, it's actually only registered and engineered as a two-seater. Was it a dual cab? Yes, yeah, dual cab. You. What happened was when they done the original engineering, the old the bloke who's had it before, he's taken the seat out, the rear seat, and put like storage boxes in the back. Uh. And they've engineered it that way. And so between somewhere between you know him doing that and me buying it, someone's put the seat back. Seat back in. But it's still registered only as a two-seater. Well, so, mine's mine's registered, and they've got the roadworthy certificate waiting for me because I've got to bring it back to um, Tassie. But uh, it'll have to go over the pits for me to transfer the rego into get Tassie plates put on it. Yeah, right. And the problem I've got <clears throat> down here is it's got the two-inch lift and 33-inch muddies on it. And that puts it over the height limit for the maximum lift. So it's just lucky I've got a mate who owns Bridgestone, uh, uh, which is it? Bridgestone, one of the tyre places down here anyway. And they do inspections as well, um, the roadworthies. So he's going to um, grab some second hand standard tyres take my tyres off the rims because they're only 16s and uh, put the other tyres on then do the inspection and then swap them all back over again yeah sweet yeah well that'd be right I got it. I was like, oh no, what do I do here? And the, the engineer is like, oh, it's got to be re-engineered. And um, fucking hell, and I so I rang, rang the bloke, yeah, and I spoke to Fair Trading because it's been sold to me as a five-seater. And yeah. I rang the bloke, and he's like, oh, what? And I'm like, yeah. I said, we've got a problem. He goes, oh no, no we'll fix it. Let's bring it down, and I'll I'll blue slip it. Put a blue slip on it. And I'm like, all right, no worries. But I want to double check. I don't know if, if that's going to fix it. Because that might fix it, but then it will, might undo any, the other engineering stuff that we yeah. want to stay. Rocks run on doubles. We're only yeah, running singles, are we? No, yeah, you're right. Yeah, because we got. Oh, you can run if you want. We just can't blow Asker, though. That's all. <laughs> Actually, I don't think the yeah, road to it. Fairbanks is not too bad, I don't no, think. No, it doesn't sort of start snowing until... Uh, Further up. Cold foot, is it? Cold. Dead horse. Dead horse. Was it dead horse or cold horse or something? I don't know. Old foot. Cold, cold foot. foot. Oh, I'll well, live for a penny, in for a pound. Are we um, are we going to Valdez and up the new side, or are we going up through all the towns on the left hand side through Homer when we get on the ferry? Um, yeah, I suppose we can go up. Well, one's a more direct route with less towns or no towns, basically. And the other one, yeah, is, I've, um, I've, actually, I've, I haven't unlocked Valdez yet, so maybe yeah, we'll go to Valdez and just follow that road up the coast, up yeah, to right Fairbanks. Too. I did do that the other day when I came back through Fairbanks. I, I did take the Delta Junction Glen Allen, but it cut me straight across. But yeah, Valdez. <laughs> Alrighty. Some cases are considered especially heinous. <laughs> Just a lazy hundred. 
43,000 pounds. Yeah, what? Oh, pounds. <laughs> what? I don't know what that is in tons. We've just got 22 ton on. About half. Almost half. We'll set 65 because Rock's obviously carrying a lot heavier load than us. There's always one guy in there. to work out with the steering wheel mate. I wasn't making it feel like I'm doing something. Still doing it is it? Still Yeah, still tight. It that is that happened to me used to, is it what do you got? A G nine twenty nine? G twenty nine. Yeah. Uh it happened to me once or twice or a few times actually just fuck up. I just unplugged it and plugged it back in. Like mid game and everything. Just pull the USB. I'll go back in. Yeah, we could do that if you want. I'll pull over here once we get on the freeway and um, you can do that if you want. I, um, last night, I packed the wheel up. When I, um, pack it up, so I've got a clear desk in the morning and I sit the wheel off to the side, upside down, with the, the actual steering wheel hanging over the edge of the desk and the rest of the wheel sitting on the on the desk itself. And I unplug it, normally unplug it from the power point. Well, last night I didn't. And I bloody got up this morning, came in here, turned on the computer, then went to the bathroom. And I could hear all hell breaking loose as the wheel was spinning around on the de side of the desk. Because the computer turned on and it still had power connected to it. And it threw, oh, its no. threw itself off the desk. <laughs> <laughs> it was banging around on the, hitting the side because it was hanging by the cables. It's just lucky the way the cables wrap around that that holder. Um, but yeah, it, it uh, didn't do any damage. Yeah, I had did the same thing. I usually when I just stow my wheel away, I put a my one of my old helmet covers on the steering wheel just to keep the dust off it. And I did the same thing. I forgot it was on there. I powered up the computer and listening to the thing. This thing's having a heart attack. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, don't pull the USB while you're moving in the truck. You don't have any brakes, you don't have nothing. <laughs> nope. A little bit of a jackknife, it's all good. No yeah, damage nah. to the Yeah, this should, uh, maybe I should, wasn't specify, you should pause the game first. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't matter, it made no fucking difference. <laughs> still tight, still yeah. firm. It'll be a setting somewhere. You yeah, it's weird. You didn't forget to take out a clip for packaging or you know transport or anything take a bit of plastic no, no. out or <laughs> no big red stickers saying remove before use or anything like that no i got rid of all that flight. <laughs> yeah. it's the first time using it yeah oh yeah something's wrong then have you got the logitech g hub yeah no, i've got the uh, gaming logitech software. gaming yeah, it's called G-Hub, isn't it? LG no, Hub? No, I was using, nah. still using the old software. That the new one. The new one? Mm-hmm. I thought gaming, oh, actually, Logitech Lockie, Gaming was the new one. Yeah, Logitech Gaming. No. I thought that was the new one. Uh, the Hub is the new one. Nah, it's the Hub. Yeah, right, eh? Yeah, yeah. Right, no, you can sort, sort that out now, mate. So, yeah. Okay. Well, let me just pull over here. I'll just load that up, see if it makes a difference. Yeah. Bear with me, boys. No, you're up. I'll pull up this uh, exit way here. You're only going to disappoint Psycho because he's our only mm. viewer if he's still there. That's alright, he's used to it, mate. Every convoy we're going is disorganised as hell. <laughs> In fact, I actually downloaded it, but I never installed it. All that. That'll save some time. Logitech Hub, is it? I'll have to look into that. Hub. Yeah, Hub. something like that. And if anything Logitech, you can do stuff with it, like your keyboard or your mouse, whatever. Yeah, I've got a mouse and stuff today. Yeah, it'll all come up. 
Just installing mail. You like my new signs I put on the front of the bumper? Dangerous when wet. <laughs> yeah, let's have a look. I'll, I'll put a kangaroo and a little dangerous when wet logo on it. Oh, it's gone too fast. I'll tell you what, when that, I went up to, I actually didn't drive all the way up there because I couldn't get a load up there, but um, yeah, I went to Prudhoe Bay and I spawned in there. I couldn't see anything. It was snowed in, man. <laughs> it was like 6am. I couldn't see Jack. I was like, righto, that's funny. It's good fun. Good fun up there. I tried to take a heavy load on, on like the low boy and left Prudhoe Bay and didn't get far up the road before she just wouldn't go anywhere. As soon as you get on the first bit of a rise, it, uh, yeah, the truck had no pull. Just don't stop. Keep going. It didn't matter. <laughs> it didn't matter. I think I was pulling one of those big cranes on the low boy and, yeah, just too much weight. Tried to hit it as fast as I could and it just stopped. So I'd roll back down the bottom and go again. Nah. You've seen that Liam Neeson ice road truck movie, whatever it's called? Yeah, it's shit. <laughs> Is that the one? Ice Road? Yeah, yeah, that's what it's called, Ice Road, yeah. It's pretty uh, ordinary. Yeah. The fuck, I was excited. I thought, oh, he's going to be Ripper. But it was pretty uh, disappointing. It, it was not bad, but it... Could have been better. Yeah, but, they... Uh, there's... Like, this is how it starts. Old mate, he's fucking, like, he's, they show him Liam Neeson driving a truck, and they show him in the cab, and the steering wheel has a big fat Kenwood, um, Kenworth symbol on it. Oh, yeah. And then so they show outside the cab, <laughs> and he's driving a Volvo. <laughs> and that's, like, in the first couple of minutes, and that's where the tone's set. No, oh, this is where, this is he where we're headed. Yep. Okay. Yeah, and then there's another scene, like, it's not bad, but it's a bit overdone. But there's another scene where they're, like, thrashing the trucks in this, like, chase. And they legit just put different trucks in there. It's not even the truck that they've been showing the whole movie. They just chuck another truck in there. Like, the truck's mostly the W990s. And they look really cool. And then there's a scene in there where there's a fucking T680 and a W990 fanging it. All of a sudden, it's got a different truck. It was a bit like, oh, it was a bit underwhelming. Sounds like that AB1 Kadabi series. That was a bit underwhelming. Mm. Yeah, I haven't uh, been too keen to start watching that one. Same as the new Matrix movie, I haven't even bothered with that. I didn't mind the AB1 Kenobi, but, you know, I like Star Wars. I thought it was alright. For what it is, I thought it was alright. It wasn't anything major but it was just all right cool enough for me anyway hey we're going to install something and then it goes off and downloads an update and it's super fucking slow always the way what about the mandalorian you watched that one sledge yeah that was a good series mm. Um, no, I, my bro, my um, son's got Disney Plus that I've been, that's why I only really have watched it. I'm never going to get Disney Plus ever because it's just, I hate them. They're bloody stupid. Out of, um, out of all of them, Mandalorian is the one to watch. Yeah. And then that flows into Boba Fett. Yeah. Which I haven't seen yeah. yet. I don't know if that's worth watching. But yeah. Yeah, okay. But it sort of mixes because the Mandalorian and Boba Fett they cross over yeah yep and so you get a little bit more story behind that and uh, Grogu and stuff like that yeah if you've seen The Mandalorian it's worth watching Boba Fett might have to get onto that I've been watching um, obviously been watching The Boys that's awesome as always actually you know I played 
the first few minutes of the first episode of season three. Did I play that for you guys? And the the fella crawled into the end of the guy's cock and then grew bigger and blew him up from the inside. What? Spoiler yeah, alert. I'm talking about, man. <laughs> what the fucking talk about, are you Willis? Watching? Meet so, the fever. The boys, <clears throat> the boys is a great series based on a comic book. It's basically in a world where soups or superheroes are normal. Like, what the world? It's they tried to make it like this is what the world would be like if superheroes did exist, and like if people were born with special abilities, and they would have like a group. They call them the Seven. Um, which are like the elite superheroes and then when somebody dies or somebody moves on or whatever or retires and they have to fill that spot so they have tryouts and stuff of other superheroes to try and fill that gap and that and they're like um the 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 superheroes are managed by a big corporation and they make movies and all that it's basically the avengers but they when the superheroes aren't saving people they're making movies and doing TV spots and publicity and stuff. But there's a group of um, people, group of blokes who uh, want to expose the supers for what they really are, the organisation and how, you know, they don't care about collateral damage and things like that. And so they're trying to uh, bring them down and kill them off. But it's, yeah, it's pretty full on. I thought I did show you the first few minutes of that uh, episode. It must have been a different group on Discord that I'm part of. But um, Season 3, Episode 1, starts off at this um, party in this penthouse and there's a super who can shrink himself down to... I think they call him the flea or something like that, termite, and he can shrink himself down to, like, tiny. And uh, he's got a... It's a good thing I'm not... um, <clears throat> not monetized. He's got a gay boyfriend, and so they go into. How does a vet- he know his boyfriend's gay? What do you mean? How does he know his boyfriend's gay? Oh what no, if he's got like, a straight boyfriend. He's got sorry. He's got a boyfriend, right? So they go off into the bedroom, snort a few lines of coke, and his his boyfriend goes, "I want you inside me." So he shrinks down and jumps on the table, and then it shows him walking up to. Like the guy has flopped his cock out and laid it on the table, and he walks up to the tip and crawls into the hot the eye at the end of the cock, and because he, he's he's walked through all the lines of coke on the table to get there, so he gets inside the uh, penis and he's rubbing his hands along the wall, and it's like showing the whole thing, and uh, he sneezes from the coke that he's just walked through, and he goes back to full size while he's inside this bloke's cock <laughs> the guy oh just God. explodes oh, it's, and it's full on too like full on the boys if you haven't seen it it is one two watch for sure season three just started I think they're up to episode just watched episode six yeah okay nearly done boys sorry about this now you're up Got 20 meg to download. But that, so Might that episode. Slow, you're in game. Oh, yeah. That's a possibility, too. What's that? You download the slow because you're still in the game. Yeah, it's nearly done anyway. I got 10 meg to go. It doesn't ask me to restart the computer, in which case, we'll just drive and I'll fix it next time. So now we're actually installing.
like you said, the link to the stream I'll put in the chat, Johnny. Can I what? Can you see the link to the stream, my YouTube stream I put in the um, convoy chat? Not right now, but I'm sure I could go and find it. Have a look at it and see what I'm looking at right now. Is it fucking the boys? No, no, no. No, I won't put that on. I'll get my YouTube. YouTube will cut my stream off if I did that. I was going to say, this stream is no longer available. Yeah. Where what? is it? This YouTube link today. Does, does the video stay up on site? Oh, you're inside me cabin. <laughs> Supplies! <laughs> Just doing a bit of crop dusting. Dude, you got no roof. Your arms are looking a bit malnourished. Where's your attitude, but hey. Very good. How hard would it be to do like a smoke mod so that, you know, when you change your gear, you get a little puff of smoke coming out of the stacks. One of these trucks do does give you that option, but it's a continuous flow of smoke. Yeah, I've seen that, because this RTA truck, you can do it. You can turn smoke on. Like, it's got multiple yeah. levels, low, medium, high. But I thought, man, well, it would be pretty cool. It's like, yeah, as soon as you shift a gear, you see a little puff come out, and then it disappears. Yeah. I've been getting right into Assetto Corsa these last, this last week or so and the amount of modding and, and stuff you can do on that and the coolest thing I've just discovered today which I've spent most of today while I was working setting up is I can run a server on my media server which is just a, an old PC, it doesn't even have a graphics card because you don't need to run the game you just run the server that basically just has the rules and the mods and as long as other people have the same mods they're you know it's their machine doing all the bloody heavy lifting so i can run a server 24 7 for a set of corsa which i couldn't do with ats because you've got to be in the game to host a server Yeah, it's a shame that, like most games today, you can't, there's no dedicated server software because um, they just want you to go and rent them. But, you know, with games like this, you can't do that. So um, no. it's a bit unfortunate. Scoot to the toilet while we're Alright, let's go. Well, oh, never mind. He's back. What's that? Do you want to quickly do something? No, no, if um, Rock's back. Will yeah, I'll just. Did it work? Did it fix it or? No, nah, well, the problem is it says my G29's connecting in the gaming hub, but it's not actually connecting. So let's just do this and I'll sort it out after. Probably needs it to be out of the game before it can actually get control back. I'll just have to deal with the heavy steering for a bit. Unless it comes up and connects, then I'll jump out again. Oh, we should be good. Let's just go. 
did you unplug the wheel and plug it back in after you installed the software and had the software running? Yeah, yeah. I did. Yeah, I'd say you have to shut the game down. So what we can do is so when we get to the ferry, you can do it then. Yeah, because I need to pee, oh. so I'll do that then too. Ah, uh, so when I come back in, I'll still have the same load and everything, won't I? Yeah, yeah. Yep. Oh, okay, cool. What we'll do is we'll uh, get across to the other side and then I'll uh, shut it down and, re and reboot it, see if it works. Yeah, no worries. It'll be good too, I think, because we're getting sort of towards late afternoon and with the ferry ride, because it's fairly long distance, it might get us into the morning, early morning. Flip your visor down in this, can you? Nah. We'll put some sunnies on that. <laughs> so they've got brain sensing wipers, but you can't flip a visor down. In the RTA truck, you can, but it's not while you're driving in the service centre. Oh, you got to choose, yeah. Froze. You alright? Sledge? Me? Yeah. My screen froze for like two seconds and then I bounced off the back of your trailer. Yeah, okay, it didn't hit me. I didn't feel anyone hit me, so it's weird. Ah, uh, right out. How bizarre. We could try someone else hosting if you want. No, no, you're up. Right. Yeah, I don't know what happened, but um, it's all, it, yeah, it was running smooth up till that point, and it's running smooth now. It was just weird. Maybe just a once off. Yeah, I've, I've got my VPN off too, so it should be a pretty good download upload at the moment. Set 60 till everyone catches up. I'm working on my race miles. Oh, this is going to be tight. with all the traffic. Everyone's heading north. Yeah. Trying to get out on the boat.
I booked a day sale to come back on the Spirit from Melbourne. It's my first time doing a day sale, so that'll be interesting. You're a silly can I? Uh... Yeah, I've heard it's pretty boring. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The best way, oh, I did a day sale on the way back, and I regretted it. It was the cheapest, so though. What's that? It was the cheapest. Uh, about 12 hours. Oh, really? 6 till 6, yeah, about 6.30 till 6.30. Oh, jeez, that'd be boring as all fuck. The worst part is you can't just sit in the bar and get pissed. Oh, you can, yeah, I'm sure you, you can. you drive when you, got to, oh, yeah. when you get off. <laughs> you got to drive off, mate. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> Yeah, when I went over, I went to the night one and got a cabin, so it was alright. You just get on the boat, get on the piss, go to sleep, wake up, you're in Tassie. Yeah. Not on the way back, yeah. But it is a big price difference, though. It is, yeah. So it's noticeable. Oh, big flash of lightning. Boom. Um, my wife is on. Got intermittent wipers yet, or brain sensing wipers. Um, I'll have my tablet with me and I'll stick a couple of movies, and I might even find a new TV series to get stuck into. I've booked a recliner so I'll make myself comfortable, and or I might even find a good ebook to read. It's a shame they haven't moved the ferry terminal yet because I'm going to stay Friday night, Saturday night with my brother who's in Geelong. And then I got to drive all the way back around to the port of Melbourne to get on the boat Saturday morning, uh, Sunday morning. That's right, they're moving it to Geelong, are they? Yeah. What do you do? Buy the car sight unseen? Pretty much. Yeah. There's just nothing on offer here in Tassie for yeah. what I was looking for, so... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, what I do, what I and what I'm doing actually is, um, for, where am I going there? Friday, take it to the mechanic, um, dump all the fluids. Yeah. I like dump every oil, change every filter, you know, change everything. The, the every every fluid, diff oils, like you know, brake, everything, anything that can be changed, change it. Wheels, tire, paint job, <laughs> nah, <laughs> front seat, steering far. wheel. Nah, just like the. Yeah, I've already lined up a mate of mine, he's going to sort me out with all the oils and, and filters um, and he'll come out and give me a hand to do it. So, only because he's got an oil pan, I don't have an oil pan. Well, she'll be rough sailing. This bloody weather. Alright, so uh, going to Valdez. Make sure you turn your truck off so you save fuel lock. Dead set? <laughs>
Well, you you made me put it on realistic fuel consumption, so I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, yeah. I didn't make ya. I didn't make ya. Yeah, you did. I need to pee. No, I'll be back. Yeah, no worries. Mate. We got a Valdez. Yep. Didn't change the time much at all. Oh, yeah. What the hell? It's Sunday at 5 p.m., right? I've got Sunday at 20. It's fucking shit up. Yeah, okay. oh, it's annoying me, the one of the two. Because, yeah, when you change the time, it was it was doing weird shit. Because it, it must that? go, when you change the time, it, it does it off like some must be the base, baseline, and if you're in a different time zone, it, it comes out weird. Yeah, what's that under? Is that, uh... So that's setting game under. Play settings. Time zones, full info? Yeah. So I'll just disable it then. Yeah, and there's an, I think there's another setting. It says something about... Or maybe it is time zone, full info. Or enable time zones or something. Yeah, so it's the options for time zones is disabled, only time, and full info. Say it again. So there's three options for time zones. Disabled, only time, and full info. Disabled. What time are people getting? 
I'm running Sunday 6:32 p.m. at the moment. Yeah, so that's what mine's changed to now. So, okay. You there, Rock? Wonder if Psycho is still watching. He's still there, buddy. <laughs> Doesn't say anybody's watching, but yet he's been commenting. So, bizarre. Mine says, yeah, 10 to 7 on a Sunday. Yep. Yeah, same yep. here now. Uh, so mine must be uh, 8 minutes to 7 now. 7. 6. Fuck's going quick. <laughs> 5 minutes. Time flies when you're sitting doing nothing. Sure does. Are we getting paid by the hour or kilometre rate? I hope it's by the hour. Oh, fucking me too. Yeah, I might might have a new job coming up, mate. Yeah, nice. I had to put all the paperwork in. I'm basically they're going to send me through an offer next week, which is good. I've already heard the salary, but salary's pretty. You know, it's okay. What I what I'm going to be doing, but main thing is I want to get the security clearance back. So that's the main incentive for me to take this job. Yeah, happy days, man. Well done. Yeah, it's been a long time coming, I tell you. It's been a struggle. Yeah. In the IT space, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Secret squirrel stuff? No, it's just, um, I'm working, well, the job's with British Aerospace. So, um, yeah, it's sounds like it's going to be a pretty interesting job. So, it should be good. Straight, yeah, cool, man. Straight in with MI5. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> MI7, mate. <laughs> oh, he's straight to the top. One of their black sites here in Australia. It's funny because my uh, cousin works for Scotland Yard. And I remember we were out there having a few beers with him once when I was in uh, in the UK, and I, I left my wallet. And I literally I was flying out the next day, and I left my wallet um, back at this pub. And next, he's ring up. This is Detective Sergeant such such from Scotland Yard. Need you to find this wallet. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> It's kind of like you got all the boys out there trying to find it. It was like hilarious. Yeah, Psycho is still watching. He said, yeah, I'm still here. Maybe it doesn't think I'm active because I'm doing other things on my PC. Don't want to know what yeah. you're doing. But it's good that you got us up as well. I see a rock melon truck now. How'd you go, Rock? Did you get sorted? He's back in the game, but not back in Discord. At no, he hasn't left Discord. Rock. Can you hear us, Rock? Yes, mate. I can. Oh, how'd you go? Uh, no, G29 says it's still connecting, even though I disconnected, reconnected, rebooted. Let's just drive, and I'll sort out after the game. Okay. Be doing well, a bit of Googling, time. I reckon. You can go next, Johnny. After sledge. Stop. <laughs> Psycho. Yeah, we'll just leave it at that. Roggy. Fire truck. rock again.
Rock's still on the boat. Yeah, I'm coming. It just had me turn facing the wrong direction, so I had to do a UE. Want me to change the time of day? Up to you. Definitely, definitely gonna be boring for your uh, your one viewer. <laughs> <It's> psycho. <laughs> I'll just get to pull up the side of the road here, mate. I'll change the time quickly. All right. Shed some light on the situation. How are the sound level levels, Psycho? Can you hear everyone talking on Discord? Ah, uh, it's four twenty-five. We'll get we'll get light soon. Your high beams off. Oh, fuck. Yeah, off. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> I can see my dashboard now. <laughs> my my high beams weren't on. They are. I now. know. I can see that. <laughs> Just maintain. <laughs> yeah, I'll turn me lights off. How's that? That's better. Can you turn your mic off too? Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. Uh, that would be fucking min. <laughs> <laughs> fucking min. <laughs> fucking min. Yeah, it cost me $3.79 actually to make that bloody animated photo thing. Yeah, that's cool. So what do you do? You, you you record a voice and then yeah you basically just outline the head and the eyes and the mouth and then it animates it yeah you you record what you wanted to say otherwise there's heaps of um audio clips and things you can choose from i wonder if there's one already of actually kevin rudd going fucking me well, but he that. doesn't actually say no, it i was gonna say <laughs> i don't think <laughs> now that i think about it i don't think he was as rough as me on the old vocab there is a um a YouTube video where he was doing a a, a a video call or something and he was being recorded at the same time and yeah. things didn't happen or things didn't work the way they were supposed to and he was swearing and cursing. Yeah, I heard afterwards. like the fucking language of these people. <laughs> I, I've had heard that, yeah. So maybe you can find him say the fucking and then you can just find a thing where here he says yeah. mint somewhere. Just hit him up on his Instagram, mate, see if he can make can a little video for you. I wonder yeah. if he's on that. Fucking What's that celebrity thing where you can request a message? Um, oh, yeah. I wonder if he's on that. <laughs> Cameo. Yeah. That's nice with the uh, backdrop with the sun rising. Yeah, the mountains starting to get a bit of sun on them. Actually applied for a job with those mob too, that Lowe's Petroleum up there. But they're like, nah, we don't want a casual, we want a full-time night shift driver. 
Uh, no. We want to send. Yeah, no we want to send the cunt to Alaska. <laughs> so I've ordered a new head unit and reverse camera for my Hilux. What good. head unit did you get? I got the uh, Kenwood. Yeah, uh, sweet. DM something yeah, or yeah. other. It's I a, know, the, the one that's specifically for it and it's got Apple CarPlay and all that? Yeah, it's got uh, wireless CarPlay and wireless Android Auto. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What did you pay for it? Eight, eight, seventy-five, eight ninety-five, something like that for the unit itself. Yeah, sweet. There's a mob. Yeah, it was. Sound, there's a mob, Australian mob called Sound Vision or Sound something. And they sell the head units with the kits, but that would have been about eleven hundred bucks. And that comes with their own custom wiring harness to convert the new head unit to the old ISO plug and stuff, and and also your um, steering wheel controls and things. But um, and a yeah, facial yeah. plate, but. I ended up going, so I got the head unit from Autobahn, I bought the wiring harnesses from Super Cheap. I had to get three different harnesses, one for the steering wheel controls, one as a patch between the steering wheel control harness and the um, uh, wiring harness for the head unit, and one for the head unit to match the Toyota. So. Yeah, yeah. I'll put two of those units in my Land Cruiser. I'll put one in my 200 and one in the other one. You can be careful with... Because have you got a genuine um, reverse camera? No. No, you should be right then. So I bought... The, there's another thing you need. Well, I, no, that, I've ordered one. So the, the mob that um, sell the head units with all the uh, wiring harnesses all ready to go for your, your vehicle, um, they do their own reversing camera as well so I ordered a reversing camera from them and because uh, the Kenwood ones are like nearly 300 bucks 295 for a Kenwood reversing camera for the head unit that they recommend whereas they do their own that they've developed um, and that's 99 bucks but that's what they hook up in their demo video when they show hooking this head unit up to a Toyota Hilux so. yeah and it's all waterproof and everything, so... Yeah, I don't get one. They're a bloody good unit. And they fit the... That, they fit the, um... They fit in perfectly. Like they've been designed for that Toyota. Yeah. Yeah, they, they're pretty good. That, that reminds me of a funny story years ago when I was... Like, cause Rock and I lived in the same sort of housing complex and uh, had this Mr. Skyline and we are going to put a new stereo in it. Anyway, we sort of we oh, found something under oh, the seat. Remember that? And we found yeah. something. Seat thought it was the amplifier for the stereo, so we just disconnected it. It's like, yeah, well, it should be right. Luckily, we didn't cut the plugs. Anyway, for a while, I was sitting there, goes, why isn't this damn car going into overdrive? <laughs> and I had the actual manual, the full workshop manual in the car, and I thought, oh, I'm trying to figure out what's going on. And I checked the wiring loom, and it says it's under here. It's this loom harness. I'm like, oh my god, we actually unplugged it, <laughs> and that was the overdrive system. <laughs> <laughs> I was lucky, it's lucky I didn't go to like a mechanic or, or, or miss it and it'd say, hey man, what's going on? It'd probably charge me like a million dollars to just plug some of them in. Well, these. Like we got some roadworks coming up. These wiring harnesses, if I bought the wiring harness, so they do a single one, this mob that they've made that basically does the lot, but it's again nearly 300 bucks just for the wiring harness. <clears throat> Whereas the three, I had to buy three from Super Cheap to do the same thing, and they were about 130 bucks for all three. The steering wheel control harness, so that you can use the steering wheel buttons on your new stereo, cost 99 bucks, and the other two were like 20 bucks and 10 bucks. Yeah. It's set in 60, so Rock can try and catch up, I guess. You're probably way behind us, are yeah, fair way behind, but I'm hitting 100 miles an hour, so I'm doing all right. Oh, okay, yeah, watch out. There's a, like a, a, a roadworks thing coming up, and there's a truck park, right? There's a little tiny gap we had to get through. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, 
I was pushing down the hill, I looked down, I was doing 101 miles an hour. Nah, okay, alright, I'll set 65 then. Yeah, I'm, I'm a fair way back, having all sorts of issues with everything, so... Just have to reset up my, um... Track IR because it didn't recognise my reset button, and... And now my, uh... G Hub software doesn't recognize the steering wheel because I pulled it off and put it back in, in again, so that's another story for another day. Yeah, just a little few teething issues, man, sorted. Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. I'll go there eventually, like I said, once I get the shift drive, I'll probably have a whole, whole lot of new stuff to, to deal with. It'll start making Probably boxes yeah. to hold it all next. Don't need to, I've got a stand. Oh, have you? Yep. Well, I bought a next level stand. Yeah, nice. That's all ready to go, I just need the actual uh, shifter. Or well, the two shifters. I can just see you guys at the very top of my GPS. Still haven't seen any roadworks yet. They might have disappeared. Okay. Now, I think it depends on your setting. So I think if you have like roadworks some turned off, it, then you won't see it. No, no. no it's no. all the other roadworks. Yeah, it's no, not off the road. Not even the convoy. Yeah, it's probably just he's too far away. It's, it's unspawned. It's disappeared. Yeah. Ah, uh, right. Must off. Finally catching up with some traffic. So. Uh, I'm going for it. Go. I want to see you do 101, mate. Find the hill and off you go. Hope there's no roadworks at the bottom. Alright, now I'm starting to see, actually see Johnny Cash's truck on my GPS. Not just the bottom of his name. Did you see Lockstar? Not quite. He you must should, be invisible. You should see me first, because I'm behind Johnny. Well, you, Johnny's over the... According to my screen, Johnny's over the top of... Yeah, of course he is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm inside your peepee, -pee, man! <laughs> <laughs> Don't sneeze! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sick <laughs> fuck. What was, what was funny, so last night I watched... Episode last night, night before I watched episode six of season three, and episode one, that one I just described, like that was within the first ten minutes that happened. There was no disclaimer, no warning at the start of the show. Episode six, turn that on, and this disclaimer comes up. I've got a screenshot. I need to read to you of what this disclaimer said before the actual episode started, and I read it and I went. If they didn't have one for episode one, what are they about to show us in episode six? Probably because they got their shit for episode one and not having a disclaimer. So now they're going to disclaimer everything. In 15 minutes, someone will sneeze. <laughs> no, so this, <laughs> this is what it says. It says, some scenes may not be suitable for some, really most. Let's be honest, all viewers. But rest assured that any consensual relationships depicted, be they human, animal, superhero or other, aren't oh. real, harmed uh, or other, aren't real, harmed no one, and in fact cost a hilariously large amount in visual effects. <laughs> and what it was <coughs> is... Please don't try this at home. Is... So one of the characters, one of the seven, one of the superheroes, he's called the Deep, and he's like an Aquaman, Aquaman, Aquaman ripoff. And he was sent by the by his boss, by the big superhero fella, to watch over this place because they're waiting for this other superhero who was supposed to have been killed many many years ago like 50 odd years ago he's just turned back up on the scene to show up and uh, he gets to this mansion 
where these twins live who are known as TNT, they're another couple of supers, um, and they're hosting that year's annual Herogasm party, which is basically a, a massive orgy just for superheroes, but they do get civilian hookers and things in. And most of the episode is filmed inside this mansion, so there's just naked people everywhere just going for it stretch your arms and legs just wrap around corners and dudes that can materialize ice weapons out of thin air so he's made a big ice dildo and is giving it to this bird and anyway this other super called starlight who's walking around the party she walks into a room and there's this massive fish tank in the middle of the room and he can she can hear the deep's voice on the other side she walks around behind this fish tank and he's there with his pants down and he's got an octopus over the top of his cock going in and out and arms going all over and one wrapped around doing a reach around from behind oh my god man that shit's probably on the that should be on the dark web my and god that's what the uh, the warning was for was this octopus giving him a blowy going on with this road it's got friggin grass, grass around over it. but that aside I can't stress enough how good the actual series is the boys it's fucking yeah worth watching it's on uh, Amazon Prime all credit to the boys. <laughs> it's based on a comic book, as most of them are, and apparently the diehard fans have been waiting for this episode for a while, just because of how it was depicted in the comic book series. Oh, I didn't make that. Oh, you've gone down the wrong side of the road. Yeah, there was a truck cut me off. Yeah, I'm stuck behind him. He had, to, he had to stop for some fucking stupid reason. Got me last day at me work tomorrow. At the safe. Yeah. Yeah, we'll go for oh, some beers after work. Yeah, we're gonna have a bit of a shindig tomorrow night. Yeah, that'll be sounds cool. Like, sounds like everyone's getting new jobs. No, I'm still in the same. Time to switch it up. Same. Well, I say I'm in the same job. Started this new role about a month and a half, six, six, eight weeks ago. Two months. Yeah, start, start a new one in August. So. Ah, yes, yeah, so oh, that was did it? Yep, came through. HR dropped the paperwork off to me yesterday, signed it, and away we go. Nice, nice pay rise too, which is good. Absolutely. Yeah, that's important. Oh fuck yeah. I've got to bloody catch you guys again. I'll be getting a pay rise as well. I'll be going from nothing to money. <laughs> <laughs> Not the doll. It was funny, man. I wouldn't be able to claim the doll anyway because I have the house and um, obviously I get the pension and you know, I wouldn't have even been eligible. I sort of got halfway through it and went, yeah, this is ridiculous. It's like these trees, like a fire's been through here or something, or it's sort of volcanic, isn't it? I suppose Alaska is volcanic, I guess. It does have that bushfire vibe about it, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, that's the fire up. 
48 miles to go. map on sort of pro mods and uh, being able to do this but imagine the craziness that would be going on in there for truckers MP <laughs> section that's a little cheeky sharp one there yeah I was watching you I got pretty close to your rear bumper but um, yeah I was waiting for you to tip over Old mate on the side of the road there was waiting for you to come and zoom in around the corner too. Yeah, flash for cash. Yeah, I couldn't believe how like large Fairbanks is. It's huge places. We could have got off at the last exit and made it no problems. Because we're actually doing a big fucking loop. Is that a car just in front of you, Johnny? Yeah. Yeah. If the light was semi-realistic to where we were going, I am still delivering timber. Still by wooded bunnings, mate? As long as you don't want straight wood.
Why the fuck did they close the gate? That's handy, at least you can go around the back of the building. Always got to reverse it in. Yeah. Surprise Eddie gets his new job, goes up, rocks up the truck, tr drops it off, saying, Yeah, just hit the quick park and off you go. <laughs> oh, missed the bloody drop off thing. Around the block I go. Yeah, I like backing it in. In all sense of the word. <laughs> oh, lucky. Um, Friggin' that quality. I can't get around this way. There's a triple trailer. Oh, is it? I'm not seeing it. That's bizarre. Yeah, I'm yeah. not seeing it. Ah, yeah. I, I'm stuck. I can't drive through it. Uh, you guys can't see it. That's bizarre. No, no. Nah, nah. Yeah, you're. Yeah. Uh, Pac Man symbol, mate. Just drive through. No, I can't. I'm pushing the trailer. <laughs> I literally oh, can't. Well. <laughs> literally, literally, watch me drive through you and go past you. So, I'm going to do a quick little teleportation. There we go. Um, yeah, no, there's a triple trailer and it sticks out almost to those cars that are parked in front. That's funny. Yeah, yeah I can't I see that. Completely missed the drop off point. <laughs> Apparently, it's only for me because Johnny's just driven through it too. Yep, it's only for you, bro. Right. I might leave it there. Some of us have work yeah, in the I morning. Just... Yeah. Pity yeah. the pity the guys. Yeah, I'll be thinking of you when I get up at midday. <laughs> I'll be finishing work hopefully around midday. I'm gonna get on the cans. Hard Too life right. for some. Yeah, well, it's not every day. It's your last day. Oh, thanks for that. It was good fun. Yeah, it was good yeah. fun. I enjoyed that. I'll, well, we'll stay here and I'll see if uh, tomorrow or whatever, see if we can get a run up to Prudhoe Bay. Yeah, that's a good run up there from here. Get yeah, I haven't done that one yet. Good scenery and uh, the road gets nice and tricky. So, Job yeah. market we got from here. Cargo. It's good bloody... Um... That's the best, well, not the best part, but it is the good Alaska part, you know, this yeah. ice road. Hey, actually, that reminds me of that Liam Neeson ice road movie you're talking about. Yeah. There's another one that he has. It's way better. It's called Cold Pursuit. 